but I want to quickly cut into the latest news break that we are getting in right now. Uh, the TMC, the Trinamool Congress, will not uh, attend uh, the inauguration of the new parliament. Derek O'Brien, Rajya Sabha MP, TMC, has tweeted, Parliament is not just a new building, it's an establishment with old traditions, values, precedents and rules. It is the foundation of Indian democracy. Prime Minister Modi doesn't get that. For him, Sunday's inauguration of the new building is all about me, myself, so count us out. Uh, cutting across to my colleague, Polomi Saha, who's joining us uh, on the latest controversy erupting at the back of the new parliament building. Uh, Polomi, earlier on, uh, you had uh, other opposition leaders like the Congress criticizing the Prime Minister for being the one to inaugurate the building, wherein, as for them, it should have been the President. And now, TMC backing out, saying we are not going to attend. That's right. The TMC has announced that they'll be skipping the event, which is to take place uh, at past 12 noon on the 28th of May in the Parliament House uh, complex. The TMC has said that they would have wanted the president, President Ropati Murmu, in fact, to uh, inaugurate the new parliament building. But it is the prime minister who is inaugurating the building and because of which uh, they believe that this is overstepping constitutional propriety, because of which they've decided to skip the event. It remains to be seen, Preeti, if there are other parties which will uh, follow suit as well. Because as you pointed out, there are other parties as well, which have in fact, uh, you know, uh, uh, who have in fact uh, taken pot shots at the centre as the government and the Prime Minister himself saying uh, that the Prime Minister wants to make everything about himself, uh, that he seems to does, uh, doesn't seem to understand what constitutional propriety is. But remember that the centre has already hit out. BJP has already said that this is not the first time that uh, a Prime Minister would be unveiling anything within the Parliament complex. In fact, the Parliament library building, the foundation for it was laid in 1987 by Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Uh, Indira Gandhi had also inaugurated the Parliament House the Annex building as well. So not the first time that the Prime Minister of the country has in fact, uh, uh, you know, is going to inaugurate uh, something which is within the Parliament complex and this sort of uh, uh, you know, this sort of overstepping, if, uh, is, if what the opposition is calling it has happened. In the case of someone like Sonia Gandhi, uh, they point out, who held no post in uh, government, who in fact had laid the foundation stone for the Adnil Tunnel as well as the Bantavali ceiling in Mumbai. So that is the argument which the BJP is putting forth, Preeti. Paul, let me tell now, uh, which are the political parties that have actually confirmed that they are going to be attending, uh, you know, this inauguration? Because TMC has backed out the Congress in all probability uh, uh, will uh, be not attending. There's no confirmation yet. The Ahmadmi Party possibly not attending. Uh, do we have any confirmation on, you know, what are we expecting on the 28th of this month? Well, we have to see again, uh, you know, how many parties actually follow suit. Like you said, uh, there are parties that have been pointing out uh, their objections uh, to this entire uh, process as it has happened on May 28th, that the Prime Minister, in fact, will be unveiling the new parliament and building. If they are going to follow suit and like a TMC, stay away from the function, from the program, that remains to be seen. But already, as you know, uh, the opposition is trying to forge some sort of a united front against the Bharatiya Janata Party. We know Nitish Kumar has been going around meeting with opposition parties in order to garner their support, in order to front, uh, forge a united front ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. We know that Arvin Kejriwal, our convener, is uh, going around the country at the moment in order to seek support of opposition parties, in order to ensure that the ordinance which was promulgated by the centre in the De Delhi services matter is not passed through Parliament, specifically the Rajya Sabha, where the opposition has some strength and might. So, if the opposition comes together on this issue or not, that remains to be seen. Of course, uh, this is a program which will go ahead on May 28th. And these were the criticisms also which were made against the government at the time uh, last year, around the same time, mid last year, when the Prime Minister had unveiled the national emblem which stands tall over the new parliament building. Same sort of criticisms were made. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, the government, of course, unveiled, the Prime Minister unveiled the national emblem and he's all set to inaugurate the new parliament building on May 28th afternoon as well. Preeti. Right, uh, you know, Polomi, we're going to continue to come uh, to you. Not very far from where I'm standing is the new parliament building. We're at Jantar Mantar, just to get our viewers a basic understanding. Uh, this is where the wrestler protest is taking place. But the latest...
All right, let's cut across uh, to Mr. Shoguta Roy, uh, TMC, uh, Mr. Shoguta Roy, Mr. Uh, TMC MP, uh, on the phone line with us, sir. So, uh, why is it that the TMC has decided not to attend the inauguration of the new parliament building? Hello. Hello. Sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Why don't you pass me quickly? So, so why is it that the TMC has decided not to attend the inauguration of the new parliament building? Many would suggest it's bad faith, you know. Ultimately, it is the constitution and it's a symbol of our democracy. No, no, there is no big explanation. The thing is that we felt that the new parliament building should be inaugurated by the president of India. Because uh, according to Article 59 of the Constitution, Parliament consists of the President, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Now the Prime Minister is the only leader of the lower house. So President should have been the proper person to inaugurate this, but the Prime Minister wanted to flaunt his contribution to the new building. So with due respect, there's been instances in the past where... Prime Ministers like Ms. Indira Gandhi, like Ms. Rajiv Gandhi, have uh, practically done the same in you know various other situations. So it's really not so much of a difference one would suggest. Indira Gandhi or Rajiv Gandhi did not inaugurate anything in the parliament. And this is a complete new building. It should have been inaugurated by the president herself. Our right. point is that the... BJP talks of respecting the scheduled caste and scheduled rights. Therefore, so, when it actually comes to paying them respect, they do not. Okay. And besides, we have also a point about the date. So, Savantra is generated in Maharashtra, there is a question mark on his political life during the fate okay. of the country. So, it is being done on Shavarka's okay. birthday. All right. I've been copying as no can the whole nation. All right, appreciate you joining us, sir. Thank you there. So, the TMC has decided they will not attend the inauguration of the new parliament building on the 28th of this month.